guys welcome back to my channel my name is Dana and thanks again for watching if you're new here welcome 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 if you're not welcome back so happy to have you I'm so so excited to get into this brand review today because I have the very exciting brand skinnies so this is a brand from New Zealand and I feel like when I talk about brands from New Zealand or Australia they just deserve like a little bit more like pomp and circumstance because New Zealand and Australia have some of the highest standards for sunscreens out there. So I tend to feel very confident when I buy a product from one of those two countries. And this one is even more exciting because it's kind of revolutionary in the world of sunscreen. I'm gonna get into it right now. I have all three of the different sunscreens. I don't have the kids ones, but you know, I think those are similar to these two, which I have in the smaller sizes. If they're not, and you know that for a fact, let me know and I can see about getting those to review them as well. But we're just gonna get into it. So if you're not already subscribed, do so below. It helps my channel. We're trying to get to 5K. We're gonna be having a giveaway when we do. Also give this video a like, it does help as well. More people see it, more people subscribe, more videos I can do. So without further ado, let's jump in. Okay, before I get going, I want to talk about kind of the technology in this product because it's not like a typical sunscreen. I'm not gonna be applying it with my little trusty dust, trusty dusty, it's not dusty, <laughs> quarter teaspoon. The reason is because these brands, Skinnies, it says that you only need a pea size amount. So that's not at all what we come to expect for other sunscreens and it's kind of important to kind of understand the background of it. So I'm gonna to go to their website and I'm also gonna be inserting pictures of kind of the, the graphics that they have to help demonstrate it. But basically Skinny's uses a proprietary ingredient called Arana Gel, which forms a thin layer on top of the skin holding the UV actives in place. I'm just reading this from the website so I don't get it wrong. <laughs> Unlike water-based sunscreens, there is no evaporation or dry down. So with Skinny's, the actives yield is higher. Okay, so what does that mean? I think it's time to insert these pictures. So the first one that I'm gonna insert on the screen is the emulsion. This is what a typical sunscreen has. Um, a thin emulsion penetrates the dermal layer, absorbing and limiting UV coverage. That's what we see when we need to apply a quarter of a teaspoon. And the reason that we do that is so that we fill in all of the ridges and valleys of our skin and have a nice consistent layer on the skin. So zinc, this is one of the other examples that they use. Obviously we know zinc is an active ingredient in mineral sunscreens. Thick zinc-based sunscreens require heaped application for adequate UV protection. And that's because they do sit on top of the skin. Some of it is absorbed by the skin, but the majority sits on top. So we just need a very thick layer in terms of like how much you are applying so that you're having the correct coverage and not having any holes or splotches in the coverage. But with Skinny's Arana Gel, the protection sits on top of the skin and protects against full broad spectrum UV. So it's kind of in between. We have the first one, which is emulsion, your normal sunscreens, and those just absorb. And then we have zinc, which sits on top of the skin. Some of it is absorbed. I just want to always mention that. And then with skinnies, it does sit on top, but you don't need as much. So if you're looking at the chart, the one with zinc, it's like a huge amount. I mean, this is obviously not really this amount, but if we're looking at it versus skinnies, the amount that you need is a lot less versus the zinc or the emulsion which goes into the skin. And they also have test reports on their website, so if you are interested in really digging into the results of it, you can go there. But like I said, in Australia and New Zealand, you really do need to have the highest standards. So I've also been testing these out and can say from my anecdotal experience that I've not gotten burned, but of course go and do some research on their website to see all the full tests. Okay, so with that said, that is kind of the science behind it. I want to get into the actual review. A few things before I do, like I said, you do only need a pea size amount. I tend to use more. I'm gonna to try to show you just a pea size amount because that is what they say. Also, they give you this little handy, um, it's called handy hints. And a few of the things that they recommend in it is that you squeeze the bottle. So it says to squeeze it because before opening the tube, squeeze the side several times with the cap on. This helps warm up and meld the gel inside to make it easier to squeeze out and apply. They also say to store it on its side, so like this versus like this. That's a little like inconvenient for me. So I try to when I can, but I also have it in my little shelf right here. But it says rather than storing it upright, this helps avoid separation of the gel. And then lastly, it says look after me. If you've left it in a hot car, it can become a little runny. 
So I'll put it in the fridge for one to two days. So kind of standard. I wouldn't leave your sunscreen out in a hot car ever. So I don't feel like that's that um, revolutionary, but definitely squeeze it. It's like this weird gel. So you do want to make sure that it's kind of all warmed up and ready for you. Okay, so I have three of their products. The first one that I have is this medium one. I think it's called Tinted Medium. They have three shades of the tinted version and then they have these two. One is the SPF 30. It doesn't really have a name. It's just Skinny's SPF 30 and then SPF 50. This is called Conquer. So I will apply these two first to my face, half on each side. I'll talk through the specs and then I will take that off and then I will apply the tinted one. So this is the Skinny's SPF 30. Obviously SPF 30, it's water resistant for 40 minutes. In terms of filters, we have avobenzone, homosalate, octosalate, octocrylene, and then also butyloctyl salicylate, which is a UV enhancer. Those are all chemical filters though, so it is very clearly a chemical sunscreen. It comes in two sizes. We have the 3.4 fluid ounces one, which retails for $35, and then the smaller one that I have, which is 1.2 ounces, and that is $18.95. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I have a very hard time just using the little pea size amount. I just feel like I always add a little bit more, but when you're using that small of amount, it really goes on very nicely. There's no kind of greasiness. There's no shine to it. The only thing that I do find is that it does kind of tend to have a little bit of a tack to it throughout the day. If I'm wearing it alone, I can feel that. And it's not something like so, so terrible, but it's there. It doesn't dry and soak in 100%, which makes sense if you listen to the first part. It's gonna be sitting on top of your skin a little bit, so that is kind of to be expected. I can apply it all over my face. I've gone all over my eyes. There's no eye sting to it. There's no fragrance to it. It's very kind of, I guess, like sensitive skin friendly in that sense. Now, the one thing that I do find a little like disconcerting is that just like with so many invisible sunscreens, I'm like, did I cover everywhere? And the reason that that is like a little bit more of an issue with this, or not an issue, but I, I think of it more because I'm using such a small amount, I'm just like, I don't know if I covered everything. Whereas if I'm using a normal sunscreen and I use a quarter teaspoon, I just go all over and I'm pretty sure that I've gotten every point covered. So that is the SPF 30. This is kind of your most basic one and cheapest one of the bunch as well. Now we're gonna go to the Conquer one. So this is SPF 50 PA++++, so four pluses. And this one is considered your sport SPF. And it's also water resistant for four hours, which is incredible. The regular size is 3.4 fluid ounces and retails for $49.95. The smaller size, which I have, is 1.2 or 1.2 ounces or 35 milliliters and retails for $27.95. As far as your filters, you have Tinosorb S, Uvenol A+, Octocrylene, and Zinc Oxide, which does make it as hybrid sunscreen, which I was actually kind of um, surprised by. This one does have more of a smell to it. The other one, the SPF 30, I didn't feel like it had any scent. I put some on my hand just so I could smell it again, but this one, I'm not sure, I can't really put my finger on it, but it definitely has a unique scent to it. Um, nothing irritating though, and it's not too, too big of a deal. So as you can see, it looks pretty similar. I would say maybe just a little bit more of a shine, but not a lot. Like you can go out and no one's gonna be like, oh, what do you have on your face? It's not like that kind of sunscreen. This one also feels a little bit, I guess, like runnier, not as thick. So I, I don't know why, it might just be the filters in it, but I don't have any problem applying either one. And they are just very easy to use and obviously nothing to like show for on my face. Again, this one is a little tacky to the touch, but again, that's because it's sitting on top of your face. And I think I forgot to mention one of the big parts of all of the skinnies, which I don't know how I didn't mention this, is that there's no water in any of them. So that is one of the big things with skinnies besides the fact of the Arana gel, it's that they don't have water in any of the products. And that is how you can use just a pea size amount and not have to use the full like quarter of a teaspoon. So that is one part of it. I don't know how I forgot about that until now, but <laughs> that's why you only need that amount. All right, so this is what they look like. All right, and the last up that I have, this is the tinted medium. If you do notice my cap doesn't close, they're actually gonna send me a new one because I feel like 
I can't ever use it. Like I, I can use it at home, but I can never travel with it. And I'm also like a little concerned that the product could go bad quickly. So they're gonna send me one. I don't know why it doesn't close though. Okay, let's apply it. So the tinted medium is SPF 30 PA++++, that's four pluses. It retails for $44.95 and you get 75 milliliters or 2.5 fluid ounces. So this one is kind of the most expensive just because you are getting less than the Conquer, even though that one's a little bit more. For this one, you are getting just a little bit less product. They call this one like a BB cream. I don't know if I necessarily agree with that, and I will get into that in a second, but I do find it to be very, very sheer coverage. It's also water resistant for 80 minutes. And as far as filters, we have all chemical filters. We have Ubinol T150, Neo Heliopan E1000, which is one I've never heard of. I'm sure it's because it's probably just for Australia or New Zealand. Then Ubinol A plus and Tinosorb S. Okay, so as far as your coverage, if you're looking at this as a makeup product, I think you can, but I think of it as really, really sheer coverage. And the reason I say that is because I have this one little like sunspot up here. It always kind of shows up and I try to get it away and I do a laser and it comes back and you know, I'm not too, too concerned with it, but it's kind of my gauge for how much coverage. And with this one, I see that it's a little covered, but it's still there. If it had more coverage, like a light or even a medium coverage, it wouldn't be as noticeable. So that's kind of my gauge. <laughs> Using things I don't like about my face to measure the coverage level. <laughs> anyway, this one is, it's definitely got a very nice kind of um, look to it. I don't find it to be matte. I don't find it to be glowy. It's kind of just your natural skin finish. It's got a little bit of a radiance to it, but not anything too, too crazy. And it just kind of blurs out any imperfections. I also like that it doesn't feel too dark of a medium, because oftentimes if I were to get a medium in a skin tint or a foundation, it would just be like orange on my face. It would be too much. So I think that it could really work for quite a few skin tones. Um, if you're on the lighter side, it might give you a little bit more of a bronzer look, but not too terribly. And then if you're in like the light medium, it'll be pretty perfect on you. And I think it's sheer enough for darker skin tones that it would actually work as well. But that said, they do have three shades. They have a tinted bronze, which is your darkest shade. Then they have the tinted medium and then tinted light. I didn't get the tinted light because I don't think that I need that. And I also didn't get the tinted bronze because I don't really want the bronze look, but they do have it if you are interested. Just like the others, it doesn't have any irritation. I don't get any burning in my eyes. This one, unlike the Conquer, doesn't really have a scent to it. And again, you only need that pea sized blob. So if you're somebody who really doesn't like to wear makeup, but you just want maybe like a little bit of a kind of coverage level just to blur out imperfections or redness, this could be a really, really good option for you. Okay, so we are finished with skinnies. I feel like there was a lot of information to provide. I am super thrilled about this brand. I've been reaching for these often, especially this tinted one, because it's such a sheer tint that it really doesn't feel like anything. And it's the perfect no makeup makeup kind of thing, um, especially with coverage. Now, for me personally, the pea size amount, I take with a grain of salt. I still use a little bit more. I also layer them. So if I'm being like kind of picky, I will take one of the, the clear ones, um, Conquer or the SPF 30, do that maybe pea size amount and then go in with the medium. I'm not saying you need to do that. I'm just kind of a fanatic about sunscreen. So that's what I do. And I think it layers really nicely. You can also layer uh, makeup on over them. I haven't had any issues with pilling, even though it does feel like, you know, a little tacky, it kind of works nicely as a primer as well. So. I 100% love these. I know so many people out there do love them. It gives me really good protection. I'm not worried about getting burnt. I'm, I like that they can last for a long time and are water resistant. There's really nothing I don't like about them. So if you are looking for something, maybe a little bit more like sport heavy, outdoorsy kind of thing with high protection, I would definitely say look into these. They ship from New Zealand. You can get them shipped with no problem. You don't have to go through some like weird uh, avenue to get them. I've also seen them on Amazon. They're a little bit more pricey on Amazon, but if that's an avenue you want to go, definitely do that. So I will insert some of the um, links to get them as well as information about like the testing in the description below. If you have any questions, let me know and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.